All right, team, welcome back to the channel. First things first, if you haven't done so already, subscribe if you have, highly appreciate it. We're up to 162 subscribers, and I wanna make it a million, so let's go. Tell your mates. Today I'm just out here playing 18 holes, nice early start, 7.30, so I'm out here by myself, which is uh, a privilege, because this golf course is very busy here at Golf Park Morse. Uh, front nine, I played two ball, best ball, and the back nine, I've mixed it up, I'm playing two ball, worst ball, so, I'm going to record the last three holes for you. We've got a par five, a great par three, wait until you see this par three, and a very, very solid par four 18th hole to finish. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, the rules for this game are very simple. Two balls, but I have to hit both shots. So and then I take the worst ball. So it puts pressure on you, especially while you're out here by yourself. So this is all about making your practice harder than the actual game. The first hole here we got is a par five. It's the place downhill. So if you hit a good drive away, it's a very reachable par five. Maybe sort of six or seven iron into it. But I've got to hit two good ones. To take the worst one. So I'm just going to take it just left of that house that you can see down there, just on the bottom, about five, ten yards left of that, and it should hit a down slope and end up on the bottom on the flat. So if you don't hit a good one, you've got a hanging lie, and it's pretty difficult to hit like a four iron or a five iron off a hanging lie. So here's hoping we hit two good ones. First one is perfect. Now I have to do it again. Alright, that one's a touch right, but it should be ideal too. Let's get up into the fairway and see which one's the worst one. Alright guys, now we're down the bottom, so it's probably about a 40 meter drop off the tee. So, my first ball actually ended up just in the rough on the left there. And my second ball is actually in the fairway on the right. So, summertime, we get in a bit of bounce. On the winter time, you actually end up staying on the slope. So, like I said, it's quite a hard shot to hit a five iron or a four iron off a slope that you got to carry that bunker so when you get down the bottom in the summertime it makes it a very very short par five as you can see we got a pretty flat shot in there so i'm going to take worst ball which for me is the one on the left coming out the rough it's about probably 10 meters longer as well so we're going to take that shot over there all right so we're actually in the first cut here we've got 170 meters plain plays pretty flat so I'm gonna have a nice little six iron in there today and there we are guys two pretty decent shots into the middle of the green with my six iron I'm going to take the furthest one away, so we've got about 25 feet for eagle. So let's have a roll. Alright, as you've seen there guys, I missed my eagle putt and I had to tap in twice from the furthest birdie putt away. So, nice little birdie on the first hole, let's get to this par 3. Hi guys, the 17th hole, 195 metres, no wind to worry about. But we've got to carry it all the way because it's water in the front and water to the right and also at the back. And then it's got one of the biggest bunkers I've ever seen 
on the left side. The pin is on the front right, so it's definitely not a pin that I'm going to go at, especially when I'm playing two ball worst ball. So I'm literally going to step up here, I'm going to hit four iron, and I'm going to be aiming for the front left of the screen. As you can see there guys, a very tricky par 3, um, I had two pretty average shots there but both safe. The first one ended up in the bunker on the left, that is going to be my worst ball. The second ball, I hit it a little bit heavy but it still got there and it managed to run up onto the fringe so definitely going to take the first ball. Now we've got about a 25 meter bunker shot. So This is where this game's really good, it puts pressure on your short game. You can get up and down twice you're going pretty good so let's give it a crack right as you can see there are two pretty decent shots the first one is about four feet and the second one's about two feet so I'm going to take the four footer and now I've got to hold it twice to make my par. missed those two par attempts I uh, had to tap it in for bogey uh, that's a good thing about this game it puts a lot of pressure on your short game so to be honest those two par attempts pretty poor strokes um, but yeah so I'm just trying to make my practice harder than the actual game so you got to get up and down twice from that situation playing this game that's why it's so good so now we're off the 18th hole um, got to hit a good tee shot off the 18th so let's go so guys, really good 18th hole here, it forces you to hit a good tee shot, so it's almost 400 metres, but I'm going to go with uh, my 3 wood, and remember, it's 2 ball worst ball, so I've got to hit 2 good ones. Okay, I hit the first one good, and I hit the second one right. So, worst ball is definitely the right one. So we're in the right rough. We're gonna have a long way into this green. All right guys, as you know, we're playing worst ball. My second one was on the right. I'm gonna be playing this. The rough's not too bad. It's been cut down, pretty generous out here. Uh, you probably can't see the flag because it's just over this bunker. If you can see the trees behind the clubhouse, the big trees, is where it goes down on the left, so that's the flag. So from 176, probably going to hit 6 eye and try and get a little bit of a flyer and aim for the middle of the green. going straight at it, I pulled it. Pretty good shot. Alright, that's the middle of the green. Sandman just come and filled in the little core marks that they've made. So, a ball at the back of the green there, that's that's the first one, that's what the one I pulled. And the one on the front right of the green here is the second ball so 
The reason the first one's gone a little bit longer was because I pulled it and it was out of a bit of a flyer, flyer lie. So I'm actually going to take the one that I pulled. They look about the same distance away. But I'll take the one that I pulled to the one at the back of the green because it's a downhill putt. And there we are guys, unfortunately I couldn't make that 30 foot birdie putt, but it was a nice easy tap in twice for my par, so birdie bogey par, not too bad. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, share with your mates. Maybe next time you guys are out playing nine holes by yourself, give it a crack, see how you go. Uh, also massive thanks to Golf Park Morse here in Burn for letting me you know practice on their practice facilities and play on the course if it wasn't for you guys wouldn't be able to play on to it until next time guys enjoy your practice remember make your practice harder than the actual game and i will see you next time cheers guys